Uh, I'm going to show how we're going to convert MarkLogic's uh, XML database uh, document to a set of triples and store it into a Lego graph. Um, I'm going to use a sample XML document that I have stored in this demo database. I'm going to pull a list of documents available here. And I have a sample document, sample1.xml. Here's the content of this document. Um, it's a, a straightforward document with elements to, from, heading, and a body. And I'm going to convert this document based on the pattern of uh, this overall document uh, URL. It's going to be the unique URI for, a, for the new set of triples. And I'm going to convert each of the nodes under the node element uh, into a predicate. And I'm going to store the textual value of that element uh, text value into the actual literal of a predicate of, of a, a triple. So I'm going to now show you uh, our uh, triple store. Uh, the triple store is actually empty right now, and uh, we don't have any triples here. So we can view the statements. And uh, I'm also going to show you the URL uh, for the web service that's going to be available from MarkLogic to access this document. So each one of the documents is exposed um, as a URL uh, of the REST service. And uh, I can actually access it here into the, in the browser. So I'm just going to make a request for this document. And it's here on my local MarkLogic server. And uh, we can look at the actual XML of this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use now Mule uh, to access this URL of this document pull this XML document, and based on our rules, uh, we're going to convert that into a set of triples. So I'm going to keep it open here for reference. Um, so Mule is a uh, ESB um, slash uh, service uh, development environment uh, that we're going to use to uh, create a service, an endpoint, that's going to run this flow that, that will access MarkLogic, uh, pull the, the contents of this XML document, uh, use the contents uh, of this document to run through our XML to triples mapper. Uh, and it's going to generate a set of uh, triples formatted in N triple format. And then we're going to put this into all of our database. And uh, this also, uh, this whole flow is exposed as a, as a service, as an endpoint. So the way I will trigger this flow is basically making a request uh, to this service. Uh, again, I'm just going to use a browser to trigger it, uh, but you can use any uh, any software to uh, or, or any scheduler to trigger the service. Um, so the couple steps that uh, we can see here is again we're accessing a MarkLogic server to this HTTP request object, and I'm calling my uh, MarkLogic server and call this sub one document. I'm just issuing a simple GET request. So this should give us the content of this XML document. Then I'm taking the content of this document and um, I'm running it against our parser. And again, the parser is using uh, our default um, transformation, uh, which maps the elements of the node document uh, into predicates with literal values representing uh, all of the uh, text lines. So I uh, have a set of uh, set of triples that are formatted in a and triple. And then we're going to use uh, our Allegro graph connector to actually persist the set of triples to the end. So I'm going to now start this whole flow. So this whole flow is going to run uh, as an endpoint again. It's going to be really cool. And uh, we can see that it's, it's starting here. Uh, and now basically what, what's happening is this, this is running as a service. Uh, and I'm going to trigger the service uh, to a browser, and this is the easiest way for, for me to demo it at this point. And as I'm executing this service, uh, what's happening is Mules are receiving a request on the endpoint. Uh, the next thing it's doing is calling MarkLogic and requesting the sample one XML document. Uh, then I'm serializing this document uh, into an object and ultimately to an XML uh, string. And uh, I'm using then that string as an input to our parser. Now, each of these activities uh, can be uh, persisted or could be queued up. Uh, so that way, this service may operate uh, at a higher volume. Uh, but for demo purposes, I'm just showing it as just one single uh, in-memory process. So ultimately, as this runs all the way uh, to persisting the triples, uh, we should now see some log entries that show how this has been processed. And we can see uh, here is our. Uh, our document coming in. We have our input document. 
uh, then the document is being parsed, mapped, uh, and here are our resolved triples. And we see we have a few triples here. Uh, and we see also that uh, the triples have been persisted successfully. So now I should be able to go back to my Allegro Graph WebView interface and execute the query again. And there we go. We can see the resulting set of triples. And here's our node document, again, with the node URI uh, assigned based on the uh, unique uh, identification for this node. And we have the few triples here uh, from to heading in a body. Uh, and we can also visualize the same data uh, in, in a graph. We can see the graph for this uh, particular node. And um, this concludes the transformation. So again, we took a set of triple set of uh, documents uh, accessible through the uh, MicroLogic REST interface. We called those uh, documents, run those through the transformation, and persisted the resulting uh, triples into a Lego graph.